I don't know how much y'all yeah. know about, about Rita's background, but your yeah. family went from Kosovo to London, oh, yes. right? Yeah, it's a tiny little place. It's got about 2.3 million people in it. Um, Eastern Europe and I moved mm. to London when I was one my parents didn't really speak any English and they really just kind of set up a whole new life for us so they really are the coolest because I don't know if I'd be here today if it wasn't for them yeah. and your mom <laughs> is a psychiatrist yeah so when she moved us from um, where Kosovo she actually she's a hero to be honest yeah. with you because she got diagnosed with breast cancer she's fine she got diagnosed with breast cancer she became a psychiatrist she had to redo her studies and she learned english at the same wow. time wow major right yeah so she's yeah. my hero but yeah yes. I don't and <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's it's such an interesting dynamic because she's a psychiatrist and your father owns a pub oh god how perfect <laughs> my father owns these are pubs. like my dream this parents. is perfect right <laughs> so i would go home drunk <laughs> and my mom would be like why are you drunk and i would try not and tell my dad and then my mom would try and get inside of me because a leeway for her right. to obviously get inside my teenage that, brain. That does right. kind of stink a little bit. Like if your if your therapist is your mom, like how do you yeah. blame your mom for everything? I don't know. You can't. But yeah, if she says I mean. if she says why are you drunk, you say I was at dad's pub, and then she says no, I want to know the root of your drinking. Right. Oh, right? It never right. ends. It's but never you, ending. But you know what's it's good that you can play both fields. I'm like a little girl one day, and I'm like let's go, dad. The next <laughs> day. That, like I said, dream parents. Yeah. <laughs>